Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 37 of my SPSS tutorials here on YouTube. It's been about two years since I made my last SPSS tutorial, but I forgot about two certain topics, so I'll be making two more videos. So, first of all, if this video is helpful to you, then please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It would be very much appreciated. I want to make this channel grow as much as possible, so every subscription counts. Uh, I do recommend watching the previous SPSS tutorials on the basics, so episode 1 until like 8, because they explain the basics, and that's easier to understand the rest of this episode. So today we're going to have a look at the difference between selecting cases and uh, splitting your data set. So what is exactly the difference? Well, if you select a certain case, it means that you're actually applying a filter. So if you want to filter out certain, uh, uh, certain respondents, uh, then you have to select select cases. So for example, we have the age variable in this data set. We have the age variable. And if you want to select only those younger than 30, then you use the select cases function. And you'll find that at data and then select cases. And then you uh, press if condition is satisfied. And then you press if. And then you select, in this case, the age uh, variable is smaller than 30, in this case. Then you press continue. Then you press paste. Then you go to your syntax. And then you select your code and press the big green play button. And then you can see that in this data set, you can already see it on the y-axis, that all the respondents with an with a age higher than 30 got a... Uh, cross through them so they don't count anymore so from now on they, oh, you only filtered those which are younger than 30 years old and as you can see the total data set consisted of how many consisted of 3645 respondents so or three and a half thousand respondents well if we now go to descriptive statistics descriptives and then, for example, of the uh, sex variable, we want the uh, descriptives. Then you press paste. Then you go to your syntax. And then you select the uh, select code and press run. Then you see that the only you get the uh, descriptive statistics of the sex, which is what you asked for. But you can see that it's only n, so the number of respondents, is only 1,332 respondents. So in this way, you don't take every respondent into account anymore. This is the biggest difference with, with split file. So if you want to filter out, so therefore select only a portion of uh, all the respondents, then you use select cases. Make sure to afterwards turn it off again. Then you go to data, select cases, and select all cases again. And then you press paste, and then you go to your syntax and you select the code and you press the big green play button and now you can see on the y-axis that it's turned on that the field has been turned off and it takes everyone into account again so by, by split uh, by uh, selecting cases you filter out respondents and you make you, and the total number of respondents decreases you can also split file and that means that you take still all the respondents into account but you want two separate results or multiple separate results. Well, what does that mean? Well, we in this uh, in this data set we have two genders. Uh, one is a man and two is a female, and we can go to data, split file, organize output by groups, and then groups based on in this case sex. And you press paste. And you go to your syntax screen. And then sort cases by sex and select the code and then run them. And from now on, all the analyses you use will be split in two. So you get two different results. And I'll show you guys that. I'll analyze descriptive statistics, descriptives, and then uh, give me the descriptives of the working hours variable. Then you press paste. Then you press the syntax. You select the code and you run it. And then you see you get two times the different the descriptive statistics, one times for men and one times for women, vrouw, which means women in, in Dutch. 
Uh, so in this case, you still select all the respondents, but you only want to split the file in two. So you get two times different results. Uh, so that's the biggest difference between filtering, so selecting cases, you actually decrease the amount of respondents. While when you split file, you still take all the respondents into account, but you split the, uh, you want separate results. Afterwards, make sure to turn it off again. So splitting file and analyze all cases, do not create groups and then paste. And if you go to your syntax and then you see the split file and you can turn that off again. Okay, so that's the difference between split file and select cases. I hope it was helpful for you guys. If it was, then please leave a like on this YouTube channel, on this uh, video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for now, I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Ciao.